Hello, everyone. My name is Jim Hodges, and I'm Research Director at Heavy Reading. And today I'm joined by Ruth Brown, who is Principal Analyst of Mobile Networks at Heavy Reading as well. And we're just, uh, the analysts are all working on content for the upcoming Network X Americas in May uh, later this year. So it's a really interesting event, and we're looking forward to, uh, to the audience and getting their feedback and just kind of discussing some of the industry trends we're seeing. But I thought what we'd do in this short video is uh, I'm going to ask Ruth kind of what trends she's seeing. I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I'm working on for the panels for the event. So, so Ruth, maybe we'll just kind of jump in here and I'll kind of ask you what trends do you expect to be discussing at your panels and, you know, in, in May and, and, and why is it important? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jim. Um, so I guess one of the key topics that I'm going to be chatting about is generative AI and AI ops. Obviously, you know, massive topics in industries right now. Um, I suppose when we get to the um, Network X America in Dallas, I really want to kind of cut through some of the AI hype and get down to the critical issues. So really addressing what's the biggest um, operational savings and efficiencies. Also talking about how we're going to get to this kind of fully AI native um aspect and you know we've got quite critical infrastructure really haven't we in um telecoms so that's going to be a really great topic um i've also got a, another topic about apis obviously again really interesting um <clears throat> plays into the sort of 5g monetization path that we're seeing massive um industry um kind of uh, push now you know a lot of interest from operators to actually monetize their networks um, so I hope in this panel we're going to uh, sort of address some of the time scales around when we might see some of the more advanced um, API features to help monetize. And then I've got another really interesting panel on Wi-Fi 7. So Wi-Fi 7 was certified at the end of last year, and we're now seeing a number of solutions kind of coming out into enterprise and home. So really, I'd love to discuss what services we see driving um, these new uh, Wi-Fi 7 um, experiences uh, in uh, the coming uh, event. And then finally, I've got another 6G session, which is on sustainability and KPIs. So this one's quite further into the future, but really we need to start discussing this. So this is really going to be about the impact of sustainability for benchmarking and evaluating. So we've got in the future a way of understanding the impact of sort of emissions, water, energy usage, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so some really interesting topics. You're going to be quite busy there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think your points kind of resonate with me in terms of what you're looking at. I'm kind of focusing on kind of edge cloud, enterprise edge, uh, monetizing cloud native services, service insurance. So to me, when I look at what's happening in the industry, a lot of the st services are now starting to move to the edge. It's taking some time, but we're seeing a lot of interest from service providers and, and developers. For, you know, you talked about KPIs and APIs. I mean, there's a lot of push to move everything to the, to the edge, have third-party APIs. And I think that's going to drive a lot of interest in services. And we'll really be kind of, uh, I've got a panel on kind of drilling down on how enterprises can drive new revenue streams. And I think there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities there for enterprises, how they manage those services, how they secure them. There's there's a complete, I think, business model that's kind of just waiting to be sort of evolved in, in that as well. I'm also gonna be talking about hybrid and multi-cloud, you know, as an event, you know, as important as this, cloud's been with us for a couple of years, but we're starting to, to really kind of understand sort of the the business opportunity between hybrid and multi-cloud and, and at the edge too and, and edge clouds as well. So I'm really looking forward to to doing that part of the, the discussion as well. Um, the other part, and you touched a little bit about cloud native services. That's I've got a panel on that. And I think that's really an important part of this as well, how we're going to see service providers actually taking these, not necessarily just 5G services, any really any cloud native services, public cloud services, all of these are kind of, I think, important as well. Um, and maybe just talk a little bit about trends, this kind of drill down about cloud native services, kind of what trends are you seeing with in terms of cloud native services from within the industry? Um, so within the sort of cloud native services, um, massive push actually around AI ops that kind of sort of wrap around um, just supporting those. So really, it, it feels like a big topic to revolutionize um, telecoms really. Um, also to 
I think really start assisting with some of the new business opportunities. So as well as the stuff we're starting to hear about with customer sort of experience, um, I think actually being able to utilize it for new business opportunities um, is really going to be great apart from the uh, network aspects. Yeah, I agree. And I think you kind of hit, you know, really nailed it on the, you really hit the nail on the head of because I think that's a really important key part of all of this for monetization. We're, you know, the, you know, the industry is always under a lot of pressure to monetize new services, whether it's or new technologies, whether it's cloud or 5G. And I think this is kind of a really a, an important step in, in doing that. And I think we're making a lot of progress. Uh, the progress I've seen this year already in terms of monetizing that in APIs is, is pretty impressive. So not just on the enterprise, but also sort of for residential customers as well. And I'm also going to be talking about cloud-based uh, service assurance or intent-based service assurance. That's an important topic. It's kind of a research area that I've been covering for a number of years. And I, th I think it's important because I think service providers are really now starting to understand the impacts of what they really, what their service assurance systems that they're doing today and what they need to do in the future to, to monetize these cloud-native services, monetize intent-based and AI-based policies. So there's, there's going to be a, a lot of really interesting topics discussed that um, at Network X America in May. Um, but maybe I just maybe we'll just kind of we'll wrap up quickly, but just maybe ask you, what do you kind of expect to see in the, in the second half of, of this year? Yeah, so I think um, in terms of Wi-Fi 7, you know, I think that's almost, it's an exciting new technology, but I think because of the massive AI push, it's almost crept out a little bit, um, but it's very exciting. It's a technology that has come on in leaps and bounds um, compared to previous Wi-Fi generations. You know, it's supporting low latency, high bandwidth, and it's really something where we can start moving on different environments. So there's been a lot of talk about moving it into the home environment, you know, coupled with the high fiber um, services we can now get, that could be really different home environmental um, experiences for people, which, you know, given today's world where we're working at home quite a lot of the time, that'll be really great. Um, so there should be an influx, I think, of new devices coming out now. It's certified to so big push with that. Um, I think also AI ops, we've already seen some announcements yeah. um, in the US with sort of open AI and integrating that for document translation, network optimization. So I, I think we'll still see humans in the loop for a while, but I think we'll see some more use cases coming out. And on the API side, I'm really hoping in the sort of latter half of the year, we see those extended use cases like I was talking about earlier. So um, earlier in the year, we started seeing some of the banking fraud, um, uh, simpler use cases and some around um, sort of extending network quality of service. Yeah. But I think moving in, it would be great to sort of see not only these APIs, network APIs from the operators, you know, being dispersed across multiple platforms, but also becoming more sophisticated. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, again, right on. I think the APIs will be a focus for the second half of this year. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that is driven by third party developers and just being able to monetize services anywhere in the network at the edge in public hybrid clouds, private clouds. So, yeah, a lot of moving parts here, and it's going to be a really interesting show. Mm -hmm. So, Ruth, uh, thanks for joining me today and giving me your, providing me your, your insights. And uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll see you at uh, at the event in May. Thanks. Yeah, definitely.